The story begins in 2011, when union members were renegotiating their contracts and were offered a 1% pay rise. Service and Food Workers Union organiser Anne Galloway says members didn't think the offer was good enough, and despite taking strike action on the issue, PAC still refused to increase their offer. The issue then went to mediation, where the offer was raised to 2%. But all through the negotiations, they kept telling us they couldn't afford more than 1%. They said that's all they could afford. So as we got to mediation, we took their word for it. They said that's all they could afford. Um, but what they did do, um, instead of even us giving the members 1%, they gave them 2%, but only gave them it from the 1st of November that year, instead of backdating it to the beginning of the document, which was the 1st of April. Galloway says after Christmas that year, the union found out that PACT had written to all their non-union members and offered them 2% backdated to the 1st of July, which meant in effect that union members had been discriminated against. I think they did that because they, they saw it as a way of getting people to leave the union. Um, obviously, we always have this problem with people think that they're going to get what the union members get anyway, and that happens in a lot of places. But this seemed to have been a concerted effort on PAC's part to say, hey, you know, you don't need to join the union, we're going to give you more anyway. Galloway says PACT was found to have breached one of the clauses in the collective agreement, as well as employment law, where they were found to have discriminated against union members by offering more to non-union members. Nine local news contacted PACT for their side of the story, and although they declined to appear on camera, the Director of Corporate Services, Paul Chamberlain, replied in a statement. The company doesn't agree with the judgment because both groups received exactly the same pay rise of 2%, so we will be lodging an appeal. To which Galloway replies. Well, this has been Paul's um, response before. He, he says that they got exactly the same, but they didn't. In effect, the non-members got more back pay, so they actually got four months more of the 2% than our members did. So they had four months more money than our members. Meanwhile, Galloway says the finding shows the union was right and acted in good faith bargaining, and she says she hopes some lessons will be learned from that. Devi Narona, Nine Local News.